Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to online lectures conducted by SLS Montessori and High School. Students, this is the cover of our book Understand and Communicate an English Course for Secondary School, Book 1, Revised Edition. Now, please open your books and see the index. So as you can see in your index, there are chapters from 1 till 24 and in front of each chapter, their page numbers are written. So today, we will be selecting lesson number 23, A Trip to Town, which is on page number 114. So Understand and Communicate is the name of our book, chapter number 23. The name of the chapter is A Trip to Town and page number 114. There is a picture on page number 114 upon which the lesson number is written and at the bottom the chapter name is written which is A Trip to Town. Now look at page number 115. At the top of the page the name of the chapter A Trip to Town is written and under the heading From Frog in a Coconut Shell by Sylvia Sherry. Frog in a Coconut Shell is basically a story from which this extract A Trip to Town is taken which is written by Sylvia Sherry. Before we start our reading I will let you know that today we will only cover reading plus explanation. This chapter is based upon five paragraphs. The rules of reading are I will read every single paragraph then I will make you underline its difficult words and tell you its meanings. Same with the other paragraphs. So the first paragraph is The bicycle wasn't exactly big enough for either of them. Yusuf perched on the carrier, had to keep his feet up off the road and Talib couldn't sit on the saddle properly. Still, it was better than walking. Now in the first paragraph, they are telling that the bike was not big enough for the two of the boys. The name of two of the boys are Yusuf and Talib. Yusuf was riding a bicycle and Talib was sitting at the lower back seat of the bicycle. And they say that it is better for them to sit on a bicycle rather than walk. So the words which you can see in that paragraph are perched and saddle. Perched, rest on something, means Yusuf was sitting on the carrier. He was sitting on the main seat was resting over there. Saddle, the back seat of the bicycle which is much lower. Saddle is the seat upon which Talib was sitting. Now read the second paragraph that is, they went along shady patches of road where the rubber trees met overhead and stretched out in orderly rows on either side. Like knaves of cath great cathedrals, they passed pineapple plantations and coconut plantations, and sometimes the view opened up to show them a stretch of white sand, palm trees, a small brown camping, and the sea. And then it was very hot, and the sun seemed to dry up the road around them. Now, in the second paragraph, they are telling us 
the condition of the road than what they were watching along the roadside. And they also told us that what the sun was doing, it was drying up the road around it. Now see the difficult words in this second paragraph. The first word is shady patches, stretched out, naves of great cathedrals, camping. I hope you all are having pencils in your hand and you are underlining the words as I have underlined in my paragraph. So now we will see their meanings. Shady patches full of dark and weak points means the road was dark and torn from many places. It was weak from many places. It was dry and rough from many places. Stretched out, wider, without tearing or breaking. Naves of Cathedral, the center part of the church which contains the bishop's throne. Kampung, a Malaysian enclosure or village. It also means a Chinese mosque. Kampung means a Chinese mosque. Now let's read the third paragraph which says, In Kuala Bizar, it was even more difficult riding. Kuala Bizar is a small town with narrow crowded streets. Talib had quite a job steering his way among pedestrians and traffic and inevitably at the traffic lights Yusuf fell off. Now in the third paragraph they are telling us that there is a place Kuala Bizar where it was difficult for them to ride a bicycle. Now what is Kuala Bizar? Kuala Bizar is a small town and narrow crowded streets. What Talib was doing? Talib was steering, he was guiding, he was directing the way to Yusuf that how he has to take mayors to go through the pedestrians and the traffic. And what happened? Inevitably, unavoidably, Due to traffic lights, Yusuf fell off from the bicycle. Now in this paragraph, there are three difficult words. Kuala Bizar's meaning is already clear over here. Then staring, then inevitably. Kuala Bizar is a part of Kalantan River Delta Complex. Steering, guiding and directing. Inevitably, as is certain to happen, unavoidably, as I have told you while explaining its meanings. Okay, now ne next fourth paragraph is, the market in Kuala Bizar smells of fish, which is the main commodity sold there. Under the long corrugated iron roof of the shed, meat, vegetables, fruit, crockery, cheap cloth, woven mats and baskets, and beetle leaf are offered for sale, but only the fish makes its presence felt throughout the market shed. Now in the fifth paragraph, they are telling us that the market, which was named as Kuala Bizar, was smell like fish market. Why? Because the main item, commodity, means the main item, which was sold over there was the fish. That's why it smells like a fish. And it was under the shed of corrugated iron roof. I hope you all have seen corrugated sheets which we use in arts and craft. It was made of card but the shed which they were talking about is made up of iron. As you can see, the people who are unable to afford the concrete or brick ceiling, they mostly use corrugated iron roof. And under that shed, not only fish, but meat, vegetables, fruit, crockery, cheap cloth, woven mats, and baskets and beetle leaf were offered for sale. Now, 
the meanings of the difficult words in this paragraph first you have to underline the words which are commodity corrugated beetle leaf now the meaning of commodity is item corrugated means corrugated iron shed it means the corrugated sheet beetle leaf an evergreen vine of southeast asia having hard shape that is used to wrap beetle nuts it's mostly seen in Indian countries in Malaysian countries as well where people used to chew but beetle along with tobacco now our last paragraph that is Yusuf bought what he has come for and added a bunch of rambutans a malaya fruit with a spiky red skin and a white scent soft center so that they could refresh themselves on the journey home they fastened everything onto the bicycle and then wandered about the town looking at the shops it wasn't often they had such a treat as a visit to the town and they made the most of it and since yusuf had saved on the bus fare they both had a pepsi cola at a coffee shop Altogether, it was quite late in the day and they started back to Camping Lot. Now, in this last paragraph, they are telling us that Yusuf bought the things which he visited the town, for which he visited the town. And he added one more thing in it and that was Rambutans. Now, they mention in the same line that what is Rambutan? It's a Malaya fruit with a spiky red skin and a white soft center. Most like Pattaya fruit. So they took that fruit and ate it up during their journey to refresh themselves. Then what they did? They fastened. Fasten means they put everything on their bicycle and secured it with threads and knots. And then wandered. Then they just took the tour of the town aimlessly to see the shops. It was often that they had such a treat as a visit to the town. It was a treat for them as they visited the town. They enjoyed it a lot. And as you all know that they both were on the bicycle, so they saved the bus fare. And they enjoyed that bus fare by buying Pepsi Cola from a coffee shop. And then it was quite late in the day when they came back to the camping lot means the Chinese look like mosques. So the words in this paragraph are Rambutan meaning is already there in the same line. So we just want to see the meanings of fastened, wandered and lot. Fastened, secure everything with threads and knots. Wandered, walk or move in a leisurely or aimless way. Lot, Chinese mocks. I hope you have understood a chapter in a very well way. I will see you soon in the next lecture with the exercise. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe.